Hey everybody, it's me, Nerfin16, with your kid here on YouTube, and, um, there's no getting around it. Let's talk about the Doctor Who finale. Uh, for those who are not in the know, I do do Doctor Who reviews. I am a new Who fan, I've been around since the Ninth Doctor. There's a reason why I'm explaining all of this. Um... I like the two-part season finale. I like the first half, um, Dark Water. It was a good build-up to the, the coming back of the Cybermen, um, using the dead. It was a really good, good plan for Lady Master. <laughs> yeah, for those who are not in the know, the Master is a long-time long, long time villain in the show. Um, kind of like the Moriarty to Doctor Who as, as Holmes, basically. If I can make that kind of analogy. analogy. Now the reason why I put the lady part here is because Stephen Moffat had a really weird idea to gender swap her. I'm not going to lie, the actress who played the master this time around is actually a really good one. She had a great plan. It built up the season really good. The end result um, on the second episode is where a lot of new Who fans like myself are being 50-50 on. Uh, myself included. What do I think of the plan itself? Um, well, with that, let's get some backstory on it. Uh, Danny was found dead in the previous episode, and they were trying to get him out of the out of the afterlife, basically. Turns out the afterlife has been used as a tool to bring back the Cybermen. Which was actually a cool idea, if you think about it in bad the guy context. Uh, before I get to the end result, I do want to also say that um, Capaldi was a really good doctor this season. I mean, this is his first series, um, British doc, British term wise, not first series in general. Um, yeah, I honestly see him coming back as a good guy. I mean, I like a grumpy doctor. I'm a, I don't mind. I can, I can handle some classic crew references. Like Burgadier coming back from the dead as a Cyberman to help out his daughter. Again, high unit has life been. Um. Yeah, the ending was basically Missy. This is the uh, what the new Who universe is probably going to end up calling the Master this time. Uh, pretty much gives the doctor the entire army and said, Yeah, you know you've been kind of an asshole this whole season, right? Well, yes. Well, what if I give you an entire army and you could solve all your problems? And this is the part where everybody split, myself included. I thought it, the end result was just weak. It could have been so much more. I mean, yes, uh, I don't know the actress's name off the top of my head. It was Missy. Um, she could have, she probably did good, do a good performance. I was just blindsided, if not my hair whipped back going. So, you took over and brought back an entire race of Cybermen just to hang out with him more? I mean, yeah, technically, I mean, in any context, the Master was probably a long time friend, even if you want to do the 90s terms, brothers or some crap like that. I don't know. What I do know is that... He does, he obviously says no one wins the day, no big deal. Not without leaving something about Gallifrey. He found some coordinates to the place. Now, turns out he, she could be lying, I don't know. Uh, this is all spoilers, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm very mixed with this review, um, as you may have noticed four minutes into this video. Um... I thought the series in general was a good up was a good first series for Capaldi and for Jenna Coleman to pretty much come off of each other. Their chemistry was really good. Them complaining at each other, them having a romp with the Robin Hood episode was cool too. Um, not gonna lie, um, I might hate uh, the next uh, Christmas special they're doing. No, don't get me wrong. I wanted to like it. Because they got Nick Frost as an unde undetermined role at the time. Well, it turns out he's going to be Santa Claus. Great. My best guess, if they were going to do something with that character, 
And it's festive, of course. They would probably negate one little thing out of the finale. My, I'm just assuming. If not, I'll review. I'm definitely reviewing the Christmas special. Um, I might be a little whatever it comes out of me because I've this is, I have, I have had experience with these Christmas specials. Not during the uh, the David years, uh, David Tennant, the tenth Doctor years, but um, I'm pretty sure I can handle it for now. So, uh, that's about it, because if I keep going into it, I'm going to have blinding rage about the episode in general. Um, I will have some MVP moments right now. I did like Unit, um, them coming in, uh, this, disguising themselves as a bunch of kids, just fighting this, the uh, fighting the Cybermen, and making, like, selfies and shit, like, that was actually cool. And then you just pop the guns, I'm like, what? And then that, that was... That was an MVP moment. I like the Burgundier uh, homages to the Third Doctor era. That was good. Um, I, it sucks knowing that Jenna's character might not be coming back. Uh, I don't know until I see Series 9. Um, definitely Danny's character is not coming. As a character, is not coming back. I, I think as an actor, we're kind of, kind of bombed out. Because I really wanted more for this guy. I mean, I did like the whole idea of him being... Um, back and forth with the whole uh, taking orders from the doctor. I mean, that was actually really good drama right there. And it's gone because he's already a Cyberman. Again, like I said earlier, spoilers as always. Um, so yeah. Um, my thoughts on the Christmas special trailer was... It's a 30 second thing. It's a sweet, short and sweet ad. It's nothing more than it could do. I will, however, will watch it, and I will probably hate some of it. So, what is my next review? Well, it's Nerf, and it's Zombie Strike. So this is definitely going to calm me down after this episode. Um, if I had to rate those two episodes, um... I go to I'll, I'll give it a five because I like I like series eight. It had a good beginning. It got me interested in the conclusion. Uh, made me drop it on drop it to a five because of the conclusion. But that's me. So till my next nerve review. I'm Nerve and Sixteen Richard Kid here on YouTube. And if there was a quote from the Twelfth Doctor error, it would be this: Shut up. Seriously. I mean, I know we'll probably do more. Uh, enough of the rambling aside. Take care, guys, and see you soon.